The elevator to success is out of order. You're going to need to take the stairs, old buddy. You know, there's lots of people online that say that there's no shortcuts to success. There's no quick ways to make money. But today, we are putting that to the challenge, and we're going to talk about some real ways that you can use to shortcut your success to making money with blogs. Because here's the deal. There are shortcuts in every aspect of life. There are people you hear all the time that have the get-rich-quick story, or I started a blog a year ago, and and now I'm making $90,000 a month. And while we might look at that and say to ourselves, well, hey, what's going on? Is there some magic button here on the keyboard that I don't know about? Is there something that we have to have that makes this work? Or is there something else going on? Well, today we're going to talk about that something else going on. And I want you to look at this in a very specific way. Because a lot of people say, Marcus, there is no shortcut. The gurus can't teach you anything. There is nothing we can learn. We just have to go and do it ourselves. Well, I want to point you to the medical industry, right? If you look at the medical industry, I am glad that my doctor takes shortcuts that were based on thousands and thousands of years of medicine. That way he could look and be like, hey, I know what that thing is. You just need to do this and it'll go away. Thousands of years ago, they didn't know. They said, you got that thing. You need to go over there to the to the cave of the end of your life. And then people would go over there because they didn't know the things that they know now in medicine. And now I can go to a doctor and it seems like I'm getting ripped off sometimes because I'm like, hey, buddy, here's 500 bucks. And he goes, yep, here, just take this. And I'm like, wait a minute, that was 500 bucks. Well, you're not paying $500 for the time it takes him to look at your eye or whatever it is, you're paying $500 for his years and years and years of medical education. Now, we need to understand this because in life, there are shortcuts. In blogging, there are shortcuts. There are shortcuts everywhere. That's how the human race advances. If that's not how it worked, we'd be driving cars on square wheels because the guy hadn't figured out how to make the round wheel to make the car go fast. But I'm glad we have a shortcut and we have a round wheel. That way my car goes a little bit faster, depending on traffic, than it would if I had square wheels. And we need to understand these things because, ladies and gentlemen, there are clues. There are shortcuts. And while you're sitting there trying to figure out the maze to making money blogging, this one hour or 90 minute training, however long it is, however long my throat will hold up, I've had a cold the last couple days, is going to open your eyes to things that you never saw before. Things you didn't even know that you didn't see. Because in life, there's several different things. And this is very important when it comes to making money online, when it comes to getting the results that you want in life. There are things that you know. You know, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that you can make money blogging. All right? That's not a question. If you're questioning that, give up on internet marketing right now. If you're like, I don't know if people make money with blogs. Well, then you need to quit. Because if you're sitting here in 2021, almost 2022, and you don't know that people make money with blogging, then you need to find something else to do with your time. But there are things in life that you know. You know you can make money blogging. There are things in life that you don't know. Right? And then... So something you might not know. You might not know that before I started this training, I was looking at a website that talks about like vitamin C and lipstick and makeup, and they're making like $7,000 a month. You, you probably didn't know that sites like that existed. All right, now you didn't know that, and, and you know, you're like, whatever, I don't know that lots of sites exist that make money. That's why we listen to Marcus and watch his entertaining videos, because he teaches us this stuff. Now. Most importantly, there are things, and I'm speaking directly to you, the YouTube University. We call you guys the YouTube University because a lot of people have a lot of comments that are seemingly expert comments, but a lot of people just don't know what they're talking about. Right? They're, they're like, I'm going to argue with you because I want to argue, and it's like, I've been doing this 21 years. Don't argue with me. Argue with 21 years of experience, and you got to look at this, and you got to understand it, and you got to realize, first and foremost, everyone is an expert. Okay, I mean that 
tongue in cheek, right? Everyone's an expert because everyone thinks they know what they should do. I learned this in rehab. Uh, the rehab guy comes in and he's like, you know, you have these people that say, you know what you should do with your dog? You got a dog. You know what you need to do with your dog? You need to put your dog up here. And they know what to do with your dog. It's like, you don't know what to do with my dog. It's my dog. It's like, I know what to do with my dog. You're not going to tell me what to do. And a lot of people tell you what to do. And you're listening to all these voices. And you're wondering why the maze of success looks like this. Anyone feel that? You feeling me? That is because you're listening to too many things. Don't listen to me. All right, you say, oh, Marcus, what are you talking about? You're here on the YouTube. I got to listen to you. Isn't that how it works? Well, listen to the data. Look up what I talk about. Find out if it's true. Look it up. There was a guy last night on YouTube, and he was an expert. And he says, you know what, Marcus? I think you're full of it. You didn't make millions of dollars in MySpace. Well, I went on Google, and I said, people who made millions of dollars during MySpace. And I found a bunch of people. All my competitors were there. I wasn't there because I don't talk about what I do too often, right? One of my friends copied that site, so I didn't want other people to do it. Uh, but lots of people made millions of dollars in MySpace. Just because you don't think it's true doesn't mean it's not true. So we have things in life that we know. I know I can make money blogging. We have things in life we don't know. Like that guy, he didn't know that people made millions with MySpace. He didn't know that. And then lastly, there's things that we don't know that we don't know. All right? This is the dangerous one. Things that we don't know that we don't know. He didn't know that he didn't know that people make money on MySpace, which stopped him in his beliefs from making lots and lots of money. People didn't believe it. Marcus, you can't make money with happy faces. You can't make money giving things away. You have to sell things, right? You have to do this. And so we have to look at it and say, well, you know, let's challenge that idea. Because until you challenge your ideas with data, None of what I'm going to talk about today is going to make sense. But if, if you say, Marcus, I know that there's some things I know. And in the entire world, this is even with Marcus. He's a Marcus is a smart man. He's very wise. All right. This is Marcus's brain. Or this is, this is all the universe knowledge. Okay. This is all the universe knowledge. And let's say I'm real smart and I know point zero 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 keep going one percent let's say that's how much of the knowledge I know in the entire universe suddenly I don't feel so smart yet we have no problem commenting and telling people what we think will and will not work yet one of the things I love about internet marketing is that if you keep yourself humble and you say to yourself, I might not know everything, you're going to see some crazy stuff. Like the guy on TikTok who makes a million dollars making silly videos. Or the guy with a blog about how to fix your hurt toe that's making six figures. Or the guy who has a site that has printable archery bow and arrow targets that's making money. Right. Think about this. If you're willing to humble yourself, but you, you got to say, Mark, I'm willing to learn because here's the deal. My teacher is the Internet. And if you look at this, we're going to get into this and we're going to show you how to start a blog and shortcut your way to six figures. So if you made it this far in the video, congratulations, because you just got a little opening of the brain for what you're about to learn. And what you're going to learn in the next 90 minutes is going to be so powerful, you can't dispute it. If you say, Marcus, I don't know what niche to pick. Marcus, I don't know where the money's at. Marcus, I, everything's too competitive. I can't get any traffic. Nothing seems to be working. Well, that falls into the realm over here of what you don't know that you don't know. 
you don't know that you don't know that there are some clues out there that are going to show you exactly how to do this. Now, Mike says, how about the guy that sold pixels, a million pixels for a dollar each? All right, well, that was a cute fad. It's probably not duplicatable, so we're not going to look at that. So we got to ask ourselves, can I duplicate it? Probably not. Okay, so let's take a look. Now, what we're going to do today is we're going to show you how to start a blog and shortcut your way to six figures. Let's take a look at this. Now, Butterfly says, if you don't step out and learn and make mistakes, you'll never get there. True, but I don't want to make a lot of mistakes. Mistakes can be costly. Mistakes can be detrimental to our marketing. So what we're going to do instead, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to say it with me, is we're going to look at the data. Now, if you stay till the end of this training, part number one, I'm going to show you how to choose a niche based on data. Not what you think, not what's cute, not your hobby, not what you like, not what you know a lot about, where the money's at. You want to make money, we have to look at where the money's at. Money doesn't care what you're interested in. Money doesn't care if you're good at playing the violin on top of a mountain at the sunset in Wyoming. It doesn't care. All right? What cares is data. And if you start to look at data you're going to be able to learn how to make money. Very important. So part number one, we're going to choose a niche based on data. We're going to show you exactly how everything works. Now, a lot of people say, learn from mistakes, learn from mistakes. Mistakes can be educated. True. And I'll tell you something I learned. A smart man learns from his mistakes, but a wise man learns from the mistakes of others. Ah, think about that for a minute. Now, Part number two, we're going to show you how to shortcut the domain process. Yes, buying the right domain can help you make money. Very important. Part three, I'm going to show you how to skim the competitors for top keywords. We're going to skim all the good stuff. We're going to focus on the good. Harness good, weed out bad. Harness the good, weed out the bad. Part number four, we're going to show you how to put up specific targeted content based on exactly what you need to do that's going to make you money. Part number five, we're going to watch the stats, treat each post as its own, and then part six, we're going to sell some stuff, monetize, and grow. Now, you might be saying, Marcus, I don't know you from a hole in the wall. Hopefully, you don't have a hole in the wall. But, you know, yeah, you got to show me that this stuff actually works. Well, check it out. If you were to look in the description of this video, which you should do after this video is over, you're going to see some links where I set up a live site in front of you. That's right. I got some domains and I said, oh, friends on YouTube, which one would you like me to buy? You told me which one you wanted me to buy, which one you wanted me to set up. I went out. I set it up. The thing is ranking in Google. If you were to take a look at a snapshot of that site, you could see that that site, even though I haven't changed the tagline from just another WordPress site, you could see that we rank in Google for 648 keywords, and I think it actually has some amount attached to it. So yeah, so like they say that the traffic's worth 191. I think it's worth more. We're going to monetize it and see, you know, who's right, this thing or the old Marcus who's been doing this a while. So we're going to take a look at this and I got 648 different keywords that this is ranking for. Marcus, I don't believe you. Nothing on the internet works. I just want to make money. Well, pay attention because check this out. If you were to go and look at how long does it take for abs to show or how long does it take to get a six pack or whatever it is, you're going to find out that my site actually ranks. You could go to Google, you could look this stuff up, you could do your research and, and do it, right? So starvation mode symptoms, this is a keyword we have. We could see here that we have a ranking after just a couple days of putting this stuff up. I think we're like number nine. It's fluctuating a little as the content starts to settle, but you will be able to see that there we are right on Google, there's where it's ranking. Now, how does this work? This works because people search for it. 700 people search for that term. If I get some of those 700 stuff, people, clicks, things, I can get some money if I do it right. And if you dig this, smash a like button. Let's get that to go over 100. Let's crush the 100 likes if you guys are digging this and we haven't even seen anything yet. We're getting to some stuff that's going to knock your socks off. If you're struggling, if you don't know what to do, if you don't know how to start a blog, guys, I don't really have much to sell today. I mean, I'll talk to you about some domains I buy if you want them. But if you follow along, you're going to get a free education on how to make money. That's how we roll here. So 
These keywords are ranking. I can get traffic. I am getting traffic right now. Right now, as you watch this, I am getting traffic from these keywords and these keywords equal money if you know how to do it right. So we can see that the stuff works. Now, what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be taking a look at these things and we're going to get people. So we're going to get traffic, targeted traffic to our sites or blogs or whatever it is or videos or whatever you're doing. And then we're going to drive them to things that make us money. You guys got it? Type one, two, three if you got it. We're going to target the traffic. We're going to get our sites. And then we're going to go to things that make us money. Now, notice that we do this before we pick a niche, right? We're going to pick a niche based on data. And that brings us to part number one. Part number one is how to choose a niche based on solid data. Solid data. All right, so you want to make money. You're like, Marcus, yes, yes, here I am. Here is me, Marcus. This is me right here. This is me, and I'm sad because I need to choose a niche. But over here, I want some money. That's what I want to do. I want to do affiliate marketing, and there's several different things here. There's people that we call people on a mission who are like, I want to start a blog because I want to change the way people think about X, Y, and Z, like my sobriety channel. That's a channel that I have. I do want to turn it into a business, but more importantly, I want to reach people with the message that helped me get sober, right? So it's a little different. Now, for you guys here, you're here watching this because you're like, Marcus, I'm not really on a mission, maybe later in life. Right now, bro, I need to pay the bills. That's what I need to do. So I need to get over here and I need to be happy, right? And you're like, how do I do that? I know people are making money online. I watch videos about people making money online and everything I try seems to not work. Why? Well, that's because you are not choosing your niche and your market based on data. You guys know that I have a high ticket niche program. We sell domains all the time. The value of it is me picking your niche. All right. It's not because it's a fancy website because it's not. It's not because we get you great content. We don't. It's not because of all the, it's because I picked the niche that I know will work. And I'm going to show you the process right here, right now. So you could do it yourself without even paying me anything. And if you want to pay me something later, great, wonderful. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But part number one, we need to choose a niche based on solid data. So Marcus, when I look at this and I say, I want a shortcut to success, I want to know that the niche is going to make me money. So what do we do? Do we go out there and say, well, I know, I got it, Marcus, I got it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do weight loss. Yeah, some gurus, no, 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 stop. Stop the madness. Well, Marcus, I know, I'm gonna do affiliate marketing because affiliate marketing, no, 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 stop the madness. I don't know what I'm gonna do. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I'm gonna look at the data. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose a niche based on solid data. Okay. Is there money in the market? Can I get the money? Right. It's like you're walking on the road and you're like, okay, there's a tree and there's $5,000 up in the top of the tree and there's $4,000 towards the bottom of the tree. Well, I'm not as tall as Shaquille O'Neal. So I'm going to have to get the stuff toward the bottom of the tree, right? I'm five feet tall. He's like 18, nine. Right? His shoes are probably taller than me. He can get the one on the top. I can't. I need to go for what I can get. And you need to remember this because when you're starting out, you got to go for what you can get. Very important. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to look at data. How are we going to look at data? Well, I'm glad you asked. And if you want notes from this video, I got someone standing by to make notes and she'll have them for you in a couple days at downloadmynotes.com because I know we're going through a lot of stuff and I'm talking kind of fast and it's kind of exciting and fun and I don't want you to miss anything. But what we're going to do at downloadmynotes.com, you can get those notes. We're going to check Flippa. Flippa is a website you can go to to buy websites. Now, you could take a look at websites on Flippa and they tell you what they're making. Same with eBay. All right, now you gotta do your due diligence. I'm not saying buy the sites. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, GoDaddy, not saying buy the sites. I'm saying let's check this out. Okay, so we're gonna go to Flippa. And we're gonna go to Flippa and we're gonna be like, hey, maybe there's some sites here, right? Here's one about living well and they say they're making three grand. Here's one about beautiful brains and all this other stuff. And they say that they're making money. So I could go there and be like, hey, if I want to make five grand a month, maybe I'll find one that's making 10 grand a month, right? I'll just get, I'll 
pretty, that'll be a little easier because then all I have to do is half as good as the other guy. All right, so I'm going to look at Flippa. I'm going to look at top affiliate earning sites. Here's a tip. In the notes, when you go to downloadmynotes.com, I'm also going to give you a uh, video and the notes from this, which is going to show you a secret jogger method to finding websites that are affiliates. And you can find them and you can do the research and you can reverse engineer them and make money like this. Watch this. If you search for Amazon affiliate disclosure, guess what's going to come up? And you have to do it in quotes just like that. You have to do this exact, which is why you're going to want to get the notes. If you search for Amazon Services LLC Associates Program, what's going to happen is you're going to get 10 million different results of people that participate in the Amazon program because Amazon makes you put... I'm a participant in the Amazon Associates program. I make money when you buy things. Blah. There we go. Done deal. So all I got to do is go through here, look at the different niches, see what's out there, see what kind of traffic they're getting, and then boom, I could reverse engineer, take a look at what's going on, and now I'm making decisions based on data. And you could search for any of these different terms here. You could do affiliate terms. You're going to find all kinds of stuff that people are using. Now, another thing I like to do, this is, a, this is a good tip. I told you guys this was going to be a doozy. Like, I'm going to go out on a limb, and I'm going to tell you that this is probably going to be more valuable than some courses you guys bought from some other folks. Right? If you guys think that, smash the like button. Let me know, because I want to give you good value, and I want you to take away some stuff you can use. Here's another one. What you do is you go to the Google, and you do blogger income reports income reports bloggers this you're gonna find all these people that post the income reports of their blogs like they literally go there and it's like hey this guy's making 60 bucks or whatever this guy's making uh 200 320 thousand dollars a month now is it true i don't know i don't know but i do know that we could check the data even more and see if they're working how many of you guys are digging this I need you to light up the, the comment section or the chats or type something below if you're digging this because this is stuff that nobody teaches you. This is stuff that your old buddy Marcus, when I go to start a new site, when I go to do this stuff, this is what I look at, right? I'm going to look at this and be like, hey, this guy's making a million dollars a month. Okay, what are they doing? Is it something I can duplicate? Is it something, and by duplicate, we're not talking about copy. No, no, no. We're not talking about copy. No, 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 bad, bad, no. We're talking about getting in there and looking at what's there. So what we're going to do is we are going to focus because most blogs have 80% junk and 20% that produces money. And here's what happens. People go out there and they start to build these things and they're like, Marcus, I'm not getting any money. This whole internet thing don't work, old buddy. And that's because you're doing 80% junk. You never get to the 20% and you quit. But what if instead we were like, well, I'm going to look at all the junk that these sites have and I'm not going to focus on that. I'm just going to focus on the 20% that actually makes money because I know that's where the money's at. All right? Think about that for a minute. We're going to go through and we're going to look at this logically. The problem with affiliate marketing and the problem with making money online is the fact that people are like, I want to make money online, and then they like have their head here. Here's their head. And they just like take their brain out. And they're like, I'm going to put my brain over here because I just want money. And they don't focus. But guys, I'm here to tell you, put your brain back in. Start thinking specifically. If you don't have answers to the questions that I'm asking, you don't have a niche. You don't have the money. You're never going to get there. Because people, oh, I'm just going to buy this program. Oh, I heard about that. People come to me, they go, well, Marcus, what about Facebook? Well, are people in your niche on Facebook? And does it rank in Google? And is it going to help you? Well, I don't know. So you're just telling me what about Facebook because you heard another guy talk about Facebook? We need to stop doing things based on what we hear. And we need to start doing things based on what we're actually seeing. And I'm going to show you in this video how to look at what the gurus are doing and reverse engineer it and do the same thing here. Right? What if you could reverse engineer it and be like, hey, there you go. That guru is doing this. Maybe I can do that after I have a sip of coffee. 
All right, so you guys dig it? Uh, dig, ugh, you guys digging it? If you are, we're gonna teach you how to think outside the tesseract. I actually bought a tesseract because I thought it was cool and a good training program material thing. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna look at income reports. We're gonna look at the guru's foolish posts. All right, anytime a guru posts something, even me, I want you to start thinking about it differently. Think about it differently. All right, look at what they're doing. If there's some guy, oh, I made $9 million on the old Amazon, good. Look at his stats. Look at what he's doing. Oh, I did this. Look at what they're doing. Don't listen to the stuff. Don't look at the Lamborghini. It's like magic. When I used to be a magician, we would do something. and we, We'd go over there and we'd be like, hey, look at this pen over here. Look at this pen. Oh, whoa, a dollar. And my idea is to get you to look at the pen for no reason other than I'm hiding a dollar over here. All right, and that's what the gurus are doing. But if you go over there and you're like, hey, I'm going to look at the dollar, you're going to learn what's going on. And stop listening to all the hype and the junk and the money and what you want and start looking at what's actually going on. So what I want to do when I get into affiliate marketing or internet marketing, I want to get as close to a sure thing as I can. So if I go over here to uh, GoDaddy domains, okay, and you might see this little cool tool that I have on my GoDaddy domains. If you're part of Blog Profit Network, we're going to give you this tool. But you got to go to blogprofitnetwork.com. We give you all kinds of cool tools. It's not ready yet, but it's cool. It like actually gives you this stuff. Like this square does not show up for most people. All right, so we could go here. We could see myketoplan.com. We could see that domain is for sale. And I can actually go and say, okay, myketoplan.com. Maybe I can go over here uh, to Ahrefs, okay? And I can take a look at exactly what's going on for my keto plan. And I could see, are they making money? Are they doing this? How does it work? All right? So we go through here and we're like, hey, wait a minute. Let's check out the movements, the keyword movements. And we're using the Ahrefs tool, by the way. So we got like keto diet plan, but that was in 2018. So it's okay. All right, another one I looked at earlier was um, this aquaponics one, right? I'm like, okay, aquaponics, it's got a ClickBank offer, it's got ways to make money, it's got some cool stuff. You know, we're looking pretty darn good there. I think that might be a good one, right? So we go through and we're like, cool. Here we got these aquaponics things and it's got some rankings and whatever and I can go buy this domain, uh, vertical aquaponics. It's got the rankings, like right here, you could see exactly what's going on. There you go, right, it's got some decent things. So I can look at this and be like, okay, are there people making a living with aquaponic sites? Well, I, I, th I think there is. I, I, like if we look at this and we go keyword explorer and we do, um, aquaponics like this. All right, we got lots of traffic, lots of stuff going on here. Aquaponics, so here's a fish tank. All right, so aquaponics fish tank, 2,600 searches a month. Could I sell these aquaponics fish tanks? Could I give them some stuff? Could I make this work? Like for me, and I want you to get inside the way that I think, what I think is 179.99. Okay, so what I would wanna do, if this was me, I'd be like, okay, I would need like an aquaponics kit, a uh, kit, right? Like a, like a kit with the tank and the thing and whatever. And maybe I'll charge 250 for it. And maybe I could drop ship it or put it together myself because, you know, if I do this on Amazon, I I'm gonna get 1%, I'm gonna get like two bucks. When I sell that, that's not gonna be good. So I need to think about this logically, all right? I want you guys to write that in the chat box. I want you to put that in the comment. I want you to say, forget the gurus. I'm focusing on logic. Type it in there. I want everyone to put that in there. I want you to put it as a comment. If you guys are getting what I'm laying down, forget the gurus. I am going to look at logic because if we look at this logically, it's all about asking the right questions. I say, okay, go green aquaponics. Here's these other sites. We got some videos. So is YouTube gonna be part of my aquaponics site? You bet your butt it is. There's some good stuff there. We're gonna go through and we're like um, some kind of sprouts thing and, and this. So there are people right now as we look at this that are making money in aquaponics. I remember uh, a couple years ago, I went to a YouTube conference. Uh, it was... It wasn't put on by YouTube. It was a, a conference for YouTubers. And there was this um, gal there, a really nice lady. And I noticed her because if you guys know me, I'm not very tall. 
I'm like five feet tall and everyone is taller than me, except the lady with the aquaponics site. And she's like, I have this site and the fish site. And she was a nice lady, really cool blog, really cool site. She was just, she loved fish. And she had this site about fish and she was making more money than the average person in America makes at their job talking about fish. Like, that's logic. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at these things. And again, that's a domain that I could buy that has backlinks that's ready to go for aquaponics. Here's one for keto. I could look at the other GoDaddy stuff. And again, do your logic. Oh, well, you know, we see uh, stock bum. Oh, Marcus, that's got to be good. Stocks are money. Well, it doesn't have any links. It doesn't have anything for it. So who cares about that? Uh, My Fresh Food, okay, nice name, cute, doesn't do me much. All right, now this one does because here you go, you got keto, you got this, you got whatever. But if we do one like Stock Bum, okay, I'm gonna do this off screen because sometimes these give you interesting results, but we're gonna go through and look at Stock Bum and I'm gonna show you exactly how this is working, right? Bruce says, logic, what about following uh, fads? Well, it's up to you. When I did the MySpace, I looked at the data. I looked at it logically. I made a bunch of money, but MySpace was kind of a fad, right? It phased out. Um, So we got to look at it. So for um, stock bum, there ain't nothing, right? There might people would go, and your logic would tell you. The logic you listen to from the gurus would say, well, stock bum is better than some stupid fish site, right? How many of you guys would be like, stocks are better than fish? Marcus, like Biff Tannen, you lose, you're wrong, but you gotta look at this specifically. What am I doing here? I wanna build a business. I wanna make this work, so I'm gonna look at the data. We also have um, all this stuff. So what I wanna do is I wanna find something I can use. Now, if you can't afford to buy a site at auction, don't worry about it. You can do this from the ground up. It just takes a little bit longer. Now, I like to do shortcuts, which is why shortcut uh, number two is to shortcut the domain process. Now, I have to ask myself, let's say I get the fish one. All right, I get the, I get the aquaponics one. It's got the rankings. Uh, let's, let's put it in there, aquaponics. Uh, we'll put this in here and we're like, okay, aquaponics. We don't want the stock one. Now, stocks, I might buy stock bum because it's cute and it's sellable. Again, I have to ask myself, can I make more than I spend on it? So this one, aquaponics. All right, we rank for apartment aquaponics. So it's got some good rankings, some decent stuff. I could build this up. I could do really good with these keywords. So the question I have to ask myself is, okay, let's say I buy the aquaponics one. Okay, aqua. All right, I got tanks. I got a ClickBank book. I know there's a ClickBank aquaponics book. Let me see if I can find it for you guys so you can see. Aquaponics. Okay, Um, so yeah, ClickBank aquaponics, like hydroponics or something like that. Yeah, so there's um, aquaponics, ClickBank, all kinds of stuff. They're like $30 sales, whatever. And they teach people all about aquaponics. So the question is, okay, we got some traffic. I can build this up. It's got some money attached to it. So let's say I have to buy this domain for $1,000. Okay. I probably won't, but let's say I do. Okay. How many of you guys paying attention? I want you to tell me in the comments. I want you to tell me here. How many of you guys think this domain to me, based on the data, based on the money, it's got some backlinks, it's looking pretty good, okay? How many of you guys think, and they're they're relevant backlinks too, which is pretty good. How many of you guys think that this domain to me would be a good $1,000 investment or bad? Type good or bad. Good money, bad money. Let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think, okay? Very important. Now, to me, I look at this and I'm like, yes, I think this is a good bet. What are the odds of making my thousand bucks back? Well, I could build it up. I could sell it for a thousand bucks. Probably not that difficult. I think that's pretty good. So what we want to do is we want to say, 
If I buy this for X, what are the odds I can get it back? If I buy this for X, what are the odds I can get my X back? Okay, what are the odds I can get my thousand bucks back on that? Well, I could, you know, there's lots of ways to do that. Now, um, I do this all the time. One of the things I do in business, a lot of people think all I do is make videos, but I've been doing this for 21 years. I do all kinds of stuff all the time. And I buy domains all the time. This year, we acquired, I think, 600 domains or something like that. Some at auction, some that we got other places. And I got to tell you, it's crazy because when you look at it, if I'm buying domains regular, I spend nine to 15 bucks for them, okay? And some of these earlier this year, a guy gave me 6,500 bucks for one I spent $15 for. Another one, uh, two days ago, a guy gave me $300 for one I spent 15 for. And I asked myself, okay, this guy's offering me 300 bucks. I like the domain, it's good. Am I gonna do anything with it that's gonna make me more than 300 bucks? Well, I got 750, probably not, so I'll take it. 6,500, I basically took that because I know he would go higher on the amount. And I don't like settling for less. I like giving as much as humanly possible. Like the one couple years ago where he said he'd give me 1700 I ended up getting 25 grand from him for the domain. Results not typical, implied, or guaranteed. You will probably make nothing. The majority of people wanting to make money online don't make anything. Even if you look at logic, even if you do all the work, this is a business. You could say, well, Marcus, people are hungry. I'm going to open a restaurant and I'll get rich. Yeah, but there's a lot of variables to that. Right? It might sound easy, like, but you got to really know what you're doing. And that's what we're talking to you about here. So if I buy this for X, what are the odds I can get X back? I'm going to go out on a limb and I'm going to tell you to do this with my courses and my programs. So if you buy a website from me for $1,500 or $3,000 or whatever it is, what are the odds you could get that back? Ask yourself that question before you buy anything. Oh, well, this guru says he's got this. Okay, what are the odds you could get it back? I ask myself this every single time. Even when I bought my little miniature car there, right? The, the fun little car you guys saw. I was like, what are the odds I can make it back? Well, the first video should give me enough revenue to make that back. I ask myself this all the time. Okay, very, very important. So uh, if you want to see some of the domains I buy, you could go here and you could look at the domains I buy and you can reverse engineer it and see why I buy what I buy. Or you could go here and you could buy one if you don't want to you know, mess around with auctions and stuff like that. We could go through and say, okay, well, domains.blogprofitnetwork.com. You could see these. Now, with the domains that we do, we actually build the site and help you out and give you all kinds of cool stuff. Like this gaming one is pretty awesome. Um, and we go through and we do this. These are domains that I bought at auction and we build them up just like nerd getting fit, right? Like you guys see this is working. You cannot argue with it. There it is. You go to Google, you search for it. There it is. Bada bing. Now you say, well, Marcus, how do you know that that is worth money? Well, check it out. People are advertising, right? There's people advertising all over the place here. So it's got to be worth something, right? And we got to look at that and understand it. Now, Part number two, what we're going to talk about, and I think we need the old air conditioner on. There we go. Pardon the noise, but it's a thousand degrees in here. All right. Uh, part number two, we're going to shortcut the domain traffic process. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to try to find a domain. So if I wanted to go into the aquaponics niche, I'm going to buy that domain. If I want to go into the fitness niche, I'll get a fitness one. And there's always something good available if you know what you're looking for, okay? You got to know what you're looking for, and it doesn't hurt to have this tool that you get with Blog Profit Network, right? So we go through, and we're like, okay, uh, birthday cakes, you know, and we go through, and we find something we want. Now, it does take work, but it's a shortcut. It'll help you get where you want to go, which is really cool. Uh, Skiffy says, Ahrefs costs a lot of money. Is there a good free version? No, pay for what you got to do. You want a shortcut, pay for it. Right, there you go. Like, if I want to go and, and get across town, I can walk across town for free, or I can, like, call an Uber and, and pay to get across town. So sometimes in life, you got to pay for what you want, because I guarantee... Almost everyone on this call spends 100 bucks eating out, going to the movies, watching Netflix. Come on, do what you got to do. When I first started, I rented a room. I, I didn't have a TV, right? Our TV was like just movies. That's all we had. 
Why? Because I wanted to do what I wanted to do. I wanted to make this work. You got to make a sacrifice to make it work. And sometimes it's, it's, it's worth it. But make sure it's worth it. Because when I did it, it wasn't, I, I'm going to make this sacrifice because I hope this works. No, no, no. I'm going to make a sacrifice because I'm going to make this work. I'm going to make it work at all costs. And guess what? It worked. Was it perfect every step of the way? Did everything go as planned? Hell no. But did I do it? And did I shortcut and I make it work? Yes, I did. One of the things you could do is buy the right domain name, right? Very important. We can go through and make it work. Ahrefs is a great program. I think it's $99 a month. So three bucks a day. So all you, again, ask yourself the question. If I have that tool, can I make $3 a day? Well, I sure hope so. I, I, if not, then you need to be in a different line of work. If you don't think having that tool and that data will help you make $3 a day, and guess what? They don't even have an affiliate program. Some guy asked me this the other day. He's like, why don't you promote you know, SEM Rush? They'll pay you. I'm like, because I like this. Because I like this. That's, that's what it works. I'm going to use what works. I'm going to tell you what works. Did you know that I could tell you about a keyword program that I don't really like? And I could probably make another hundred grand a year, but I'm going to tell you to get the best, even if it costs me money, right? Because I want you guys to get the good stuff and I want you to do it. And I know you're going to appreciate it and buy stuff and sign up for stuff. And I'm doing all right without having an affiliate program for that. So we go through and we look at this and we're like, Hey, check this out. We're going to go through, we're going to make it work. Um, so I'm going to go and I'm going to shortcut the process just like on Nerd getting fit. Look at the movements. You see exactly how it worked. I went through and I was like, okay, here's the old nerd getting fit, right? And I'm like, okay, look at this. I took it over on November 3rd. You can go back and watch the, the live stuff where I bought it and everything. So the third, there's a gap from when I took it over. Eight days later, I started ranking. Was that worth 400 bucks? Right? The domain cost me about 400 by the time I did the fees. There we go. There you go. And we look at it and we're like, hey, I'm going to do this. I'm going to make it work. Okay? I'm going to make it happen. Okay? Very important. Now, another little hack. When I first started, what I did is I helped other people with their websites get results. This is how I was able to afford tools. I was like, hey, I'll build your website for 500 bucks. Okay, well, there's a tool for, you know, five months or whatever. I did what I had to do. So if you're broke, figure out a way to make it work. I did. You got to figure, you got internet access. You can make money. Did you catch that? You got internet access. You could make money. People out there are making money in the silliest, craziest stuff. Craziest stuff. And if we look at this and we, and we pay attention... It's very, very cool. All right, so let's take a look at what else we have. Uh, here's one that's ending in two minutes. Let's take a look at this one, right? And, and see if it's good. So this is like something about a fireplace. All right, fireplace outlet. Uh, I could probably sell fireplaces. I was just watching a video the other day of a guy who sold uh, heaters, right? Here in, heater, in, in Florida, people buy heaters all the time because it gets cold here and people forget, right? So we got like carport. Look at that. Carport prices, Carolina carport prices, thousand searches a month they want a carport which is expensive uh chimneys uh fireplace outlet i mean look at that you guys look at it there it is right and we could go through and we can make it work and we could buy this domain and build it up and there we go all right super 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 simple if you focus if you focus okay so i could do that now i have to ask myself how am i going to make money now notice how what I just showed you has nothing to do with how the other gurus teach you to find your niche. Did anyone catch that? If you caught it, put it in the comments below, put it in the chat box. Did anyone catch that? Because all the gurus are like, what you want to do is you want to go into weight loss. Or you want to go into ClickBank, get your old ClickBank out. No, 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 no. I'm going to go where the money's already at. Right? Do I want to like get something that's already half done? Or do I want to mess around starting with something that may or may not work? 
I do stuff I know is good. I don't invest my time unless I know it's going to work, and I know it's going to work based on the data. And this is why my high ticket niches are so valuable because I find the niche. And people come to me, hey, Marcus, you know, I got this niche, and I, buddy, I, I don't think it's worth a thousand. Well, then you ain't paying attention because if you pay attention, you're going to see where the value's at. Very, very important. Look at all this. Gas fire. I could sell. Do people buy gas fireplaces? Yes. Do they buy them online? Yes. Can I get this traffic? Yes. Is there an affiliate program or a dropship? Yes. Then I can make money. There you go. You got to ask these questions. Very, very important. All right. So we're going to go through and we're going to do this. And we're only on part two. And I've already showed you a lot of good stuff. So if you're going to stay to the end, I don't know how long we're going to go. And my throat is getting there. I got. I, I think I got another hour left. But I, I've been kind of sick and my throat's like, Shut up, Marcus. But at any rate, right, uh, we're going to look at GoDaddy. We're going to look at the old Flippa. We're going to look at all this stuff, and we are going to focus on what is working. We're going to focus on what is working. Very important. All right, GoDaddy, Flippa. We could buy them direct. We could go to websites and buy them direct. Uh, we could go to Spamzilla. Spamzilla will show us uh, sites that, that, that do that as well. We could go to domains.blog. You want a shortcut? Okay. Domains.blogprofitnetwork.com. These are domains I buy at auction. And you could see the ones I buy at auction like this. Jolly Covers. Sounds kind of weird. But, you know, whatever. Jolly Covers is a seat site. They do, like, uh, seats for cars. Universal car seat covers, car seat cover. Look at this, all down the line. My thinking is good dropship site, pretty easy. Uh, probably also could be a good affiliate site. Um, it could also tie into car insurance or car warranties. Are you guys getting it? How many of you guys are getting it? You're like, wait, Marcus, you think completely different than other people. You think outside the Tesseract. Ooh, fancy. All right, there you go. All right. Pretty cool stuff. So we got to look at this and we're like, hey, there we go. Could I make money with this? I could make, yeah, I could definitely make money with this. This is pretty easy, right? Pretty simple. And we look at this one. Here's another one, barksandsqueaks.com, right? I could get barksandsqueaks.com, right, like this. And I think it has to do with like pet stuff, which is cool. We'll do it off camera just in case we get weird stuff. Oh, good, good. So check this out. Right, we got like cocker spaniel gifts, uh, microchip dog, uh, Father's Day gift. Oh, look at it, gifts for dogs. People buy so much stuff. Look at this. Why do wa dogs wear bandanas? There you go. All right, don't know how I'll make money on that, but maybe I could sell a bandana, a custom bandana. Right, so we go through this. Uh, GMO says I can't find the notes for this video. You're correct. The video is not done. It, it, we can't have notes before the video is done. So you got to go to downloadmynotes.com after the video, and they'll be there. Right, look at this. Look at all this. All this dog stuff, there you go. Boom, bang, done. I can get these domains, I can shortcut it, and there you go. Guys, it's not that hard to do. You just have to really, really, really focus, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and we're gonna find a domain based on the value. I'm gonna look at this stuff and be like, okay, sheds, yeah, I could make a lot of money with sheds. Uh, carports, uh, uh, carport colors, all kinds of stuff that we have here, rent to own sheds, New York, all kinds of stuff. Okay. So I'm going to shortcut the domain and traffic, um, process. Okay. I'm going to shortcut it. I'm going to make it work. We're going to be ready to go. Now, part number three, drrr, drum roll, please. This is important. What we're going to do is we're going to take our new domain. Okay. We're going to take our new domain, wherever our pen went. So here's our domain. And we're going to niche it out. Okay, what niche is my, do is my domain in? All right, we're going to look at that and be like, what niche is my domain in? All right, so barks and squeaks, that's in like pet accessories. Okay, then I'm going to think money. Pet insurance is going to be the big thing. And then accessories is going to be a little bit of money. Um, and then maybe even like... Uh, dog training, stuff like that. But pet insurance, again, remember the 80-20? Pet insurance is going to make me most of the money on this site. The other stuff is going to pale in comparison to what I'm going to make on pet insurance. 
I just did the research on another blog that is in this exact niche. Most of their money is coming from pet insurance. They're doing $100,000 a month. Are you guys getting it? How many of you guys are getting this? This is where this is made. This is where it's made. They're making money. Now, are you going to get in there and make 100 grand a month? Probably not. Most likely not. The average person trying to do this makes nothing. I know there were some people that said, I get irritated when you say your disclosure, Marcus. When you say the disclaimer that no one makes money online, I don't get it. I don't like it. Well, if you don't like it, then you're probably not cut out to be an entrepreneur or a businessman. I know it's easy and cute to put entrepreneur in your Instagram tag, serial entrepreneur. And say, you're a serial, how much money have you made? Well, I don't know. I bought a bunch of courses. Then you're not an entrepreneur. An entrepreneur is someone that makes money on their own accord, with their own business. They start things. So until you start something, get that out of your Instagram hashtag thing, because that ain't true, right? There's so many people that, like even people who all they did is sell a course or whatever, right? Even if all they did is sell a course, that ain't an entrepreneur. I mean, maybe, but this, you got to look at what people did. I am more impressed like, I see the guy who's like, I got the ClickFunnels award and I made $10 million selling people how to make money on Amazon. That doesn't impress me. Doesn't impress me. What impresses me is a guy doing the pet insurance. What impresses me is a guy making the money with the MySpace layouts. And the guy do the niches impress me. That's what I like because that's what I could reverse engineer and that's how I can make it work. Like, you look at it and you're like, Marcus, can I copy what you're doing on YouTube? Probably not. It's like a personality business, right? It takes a lot of work. Copy the other stuff. So you have to look at this and understand it. How many of you guys are getting what I'm dropping? Smash that like button. Let's get that thing over 200. All right. Now what we're going to do, we're going to niche it out and we're going to go through and we are going to skim the competitor's keywords. Now, there's an old movie called Barnyard. Funny cartoon. If you haven't seen it, watch Barnyard. It's a great movie. And on Barnyard, uh, the farmer like gets these new cows, these lady cows, and the guy cows are really happy. And he goes, thank you, farmer. And he's the cow. And I'm going to show you how to find a thank you farmer. And I want you to say that in your head because it makes it fun. You look at it and you say, okay, where's the thank you farmer? Because here's the deal. You got your niche. You got your domain. You got your stuff and it's ready to go, okay? So what are we gonna do next? Well, next, what we're going to do is we're gonna go through and we're gonna figure out what the competitors are doing and we're gonna do the 80-20 rule, okay? How many of you guys are digging this? If you're digging it, stick around, smash the like button. Let's get this thing off the road because you're getting stuff I've been through courses. I've been doing this 21 years. I bought a lot of courses. I've spent $10,000 on courses. I know people like to brag about my mentor is a hundred grand. Well, then you probably got ripped off unless you know what you're doing, because even though it's cute and fun to get a hundred thousand dollar mentor, most of you guys wouldn't know what to do with it. Even if you had it, I wouldn't. So we're going to go through and what we're going to do is we're going to look at the 80, 20. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to look at this and I'm going to skim my competitor's Keywords. All right, here's an example that I did for, and da uh, Danny says, I feel like a child again, inquisitive. There you are. That's the sweet spot. You have to dig this. When I enjoy what I'm doing, I make a lot of money. And lately I've been enjoying it. And my wife's like, Where's all this money coming from? What are we going to do with it? We're like heaping it up in the, you know, I don't know what we're doing with it. But it's good. It works. So we're going to look at that and we're going to have fun with it. And we're going to understand that money comes when you look at logic and you enjoy what you do and you stop trying to force it. Don't force it. Look at it and say, hey, this is what we're going to do. Now, I went through last night and I looked at a competitor. How do you, Marcus, how did you find a competitor? Well, what I did is I looked at one of the keywords that my site ranked for. So my site ranked for how long does it take to get abs? Okay, so how long does it take to see abs? What I would do is I would Google this. And what I'm doing is I'm looking for sites. Give me a minute. Stupid cold. But um, what I'm doing is I'm looking for sites that have to do with exactly what I'm doing. So Healthline, too broad. I want something super specific 
something that is focused on exactly what I want. Okay, so I gotta focus exactly on what I want. So what we're gonna do here is great greatest, I think I used this one, nutrition, yeah, that can work. Um, Cosmo, these are too broad, pop sugar too broad, live strong, maybe. Okay, now sometimes I'll do a maybe if it's like popsugar.com slash fitness, I might do this on that slash fitness, I might include that. Uh, built with science, definitely. Quora, no, too too broad. And I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna find the sites. Body building meal plan, boom, jackpot, I love it. Um, fitness Pro, boom, love it. Uh, let's see what else. Fitness Reloaded, love it. So I'm gonna take these, like I did, and I'm gonna look at their uh, competition, I'm gonna look at the KD, which is a competition, and I'm gonna look at the volume. So this guy, is getting 15,000 visitors a month from this one keyword, leg workouts at home. He's also getting other ones. So what I did is I isolated ones that I think I could get because I'm like, okay, nerd getting fit. You know, we got some 18s and 25s. I could probably swing a 35. Might be difficult, but let's see what happens. All right, so we're gonna look at that and we're like, okay. So what I did is I highlighted the ones I want. Leg workouts at home. Boom, I could get that guy, I could sell him something direct because he's looking for leg work. Exercises, too competitive, too broad. I ain't even gonna touch it with a 10 foot pole. Even if I had an 11 foot pole, I'm still not gonna do it because we're looking at it and it is too difficult. It's too broad and it's too difficult. So I'm gonna go down the list. Do, 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 adjustable kettlebell, boom, I'll take it. There we go. Seven thousand. Like if you had eight thousand people a month looking at your site with an adjustable kettlebell, kettlebell, and they're looking for an adjustable kettlebell, do you think you'll get some sales out of seven thousand? I mean, unless you're saying, "Please don't buy this kettlebell; doesn't exist." Well, then you know, it might not get sales then. But we'll take a look at it. I'll take it. It's a twelve. Keep going. Now notice all the blank space. Remember the eighty twenty rule. I'm focusing on the stuff that I want. I'm focusing on the stuff that I know can make money. Adjustable, kettlebell, hyperbolic stretching, what's the best protein powder, how to lose face fat. These are jackpot words right there. That's a good one. There's people making a living with how to lose face fat. Um, keto candy, best pre-workout for women, best tasting protein powder, medicine ball. You guys getting it? Do you see why? I singled these out. Do you guys see it? Does anyone see it? Type it in the box. All right, hopefully you guys see it. All right, we'll keep going. We got uh, arm workouts at home, boxing bag. Now, what I did, and we're gonna take a look at this. And while we were doing this training, I actually got barks and squeaks I want it for 237. I got why whatever fireplace outlet. And we got some others I'm bidding on too. So I'm actually doing what I preach. So people are like, Marcus, I don't know if you do it. Well, I'm doing it right here live. I just spent what, 500 bucks? There it is, right? Why would I spend 500? Because I know I can make money. So we got boxing bag. Now, what I did is I took my competitor. I took this competitor. I put it into the keyword tool that some people say, oh, Marcus, it's too expensive. I'd rather go and eat fast food all month instead of get the tools that I need to make a living because, you know, not having good health and no money is my goal, right? Yeah, hopefully not. But we're going to go through, and I put the competitor stuff. I found 900 keywords with less than 10 competition, and it showed me 700 thousand visitors a month potential there we go rack pulls leg curl incline dumbbell curl all this stuff now if i want to do this and be in it to win it i would have a youtube as part of my repertoire because these naturally like if i want to show someone how to do a leg curl doing a video would be good well marcus i don't know how to do that and i don't want to be on good go hire your local person and say i'll split it with you you get 50% or 20% or whatever, and you just show people how to do this stuff. So simple. And so we look at that. 
And here's another one. I took another competitor and I found another 864 keywords with 578. And then I kept going. Look at this. You guys, here it is. Watch, watch this, watch this. We got this. Look at all these keywords. There they are. Site number one. Here is site number two. Look at all this traffic. Site number three, somewhere over here. Over here, somewhere. There we are. Site number three. There you go. People still looking up the shake weight. Yeah, I thought we were over that. But, you know, to each his own. Whatever. Cool deal. All right. And we got all kinds of stuff here. Look at all this traffic. 500,000 uh, 500, people a month for mini treadmill. I don't know what a mini treadmill is, but, you know, I'll, I'll sell them. I'm sure they're expensive. And so we go through and we're like, wait a minute. Now, just to show you that this pretty much works with darn near anything. All right. Let's keep looking because I did the same thing. Ready? You ready? Come on, come on, come on, listen. On step number one. Because I could go to step number one. I can look at those people. Like when people brag about how much they're making, look at their site. See what they're doing. Because these people were out there and they're like, wait a minute. Check it out. Here's a site. Here's all his traffic. This is all the stuff he ranks for. And he says he's making seven grand a month. Here's another one for poker stuff. Boom. There you go. Here's another one for skincare. She said she was making three grand a month. All right. Now, my guess is she probably ain't making much on the word lotion. She's probably making a lot on like exfoliators. So all I got to do is weed the stuff that I want focus on what I want and what I can get and strategically place myself in front of those people. Very, very important. Uh, Life Hustle, which tool do you use for finding keywords with YouTube? Hint, I don't use a tool. More about that later if someone reminds me. Okay, very important. So what I'm doing now, one, I'm finding my domain using the stuff. Again, downloadmynotes.com, we'll have notes on this. I got to pay someone to make the notes and uh, she'll go through and make the notes and everything like that. Okay. Uh, two, we're going to go through and we're going to shortcut the domain process and get the domain. Next, we're going to go through and we're going to skim the competitor's keywords and we're going to get the good stuff that I want. I'm not going to take something if I don't see a clear path to money. Healthy breakfast ideas. Those people want uh, Pinterest and they want little recipes. They don't want to buy my stretching book. They don't want to buy uh, workout equipment. It's a stretch. They don't want that. People looking at peppers, right? They're just like me. They like to eat hot stuff, right? So I need to figure out what I'm going to do. There needs to be a clear intent. Boxing bag? They want to buy a boxing bag. Low calorie snacks? I could probably do something with that. Um, and when we look at this, we have to get the words we want. I'm not going to get words unless I know what they want. Like ducks walk? I didn't know what that was. Right, I, I'm not a fitness guy. Um, even though I bought Nerd Getting Fit, I am not a fitness guy. I don't know if you could tell or not. I have one ab and I'm pretty flabby. But at any rate, I didn't know what duck walk was, so I had to look it up. And it, it's a type of workout. So I'm like, okay, yeah, I could do something with that. Um, squat machines, uh, dumbbell curls, all this stuff. Metabolic confusion. That's a good keyword there. Um, and we look at this and we're like, okay, cool. So I could go through... And I could get some of these and make it work in a really, really easy way. Okay? Simple. Now, number four, what am I going to do next? Well, I'm going to go through and I'm going to put up specific content with a specific direction to make this stuff work. Okay? So I'm going to go through and be like, okay, duck walk. All right. I'm going to think. Got to use the brain. Logically. Someone looking up duck walk. What do they want? Okay, well, um, I would have to look at what that is. So I'd go to Google and I'll search for what duck, duck walk exercise. Okay, so duck walk exercise is a um, purpose of the duck. Okay, glutes, quads, hip, fl hip flexors. Aha, okay. So the old duck walk links to hip flexor. Now, I've been doing this a long time which is why my courses are valuable. 
That's why. It's not because they're fancy and good and they got good video. It's good because I've been doing this 21 years and I was able to take duck walk exercise. I saw that it, 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 it led to hip flexor and I know that ClickBank has some kind of hip, uh, hip flexor thing. Let me see if I can find it here. Give me one second. So we'll get in here and see what's going on. Okay, marketplace flexor. Okay, so hip flexor, there you go. So we got, um, for this, we got unlock your hip flexor. Do you guys see the path? Okay, if duck walk was just some silly thing people did on TikTok to laugh, I probably wouldn't do the keyword. Okay, are you guys getting what I'm putting down? I hope you're getting it because... I think it's pretty good stuff. I don't know. You know, you could tell me by smashing the like button if you think it's good, but I think it's pretty good. All right, so we got the hip flexors, and it's like, okay, there we go. Boom. Done deal. Yeah, I could sell a couple of these. The average per uh, commission is $101. It fits directly to duck walk. So if I had that keyword for the duck walk, and I got uh, 9,900 searches a month, so 90, uh, almost 10,000 people, you know, maybe that one post focusing on it because now I can go through because this is how I think. I'm like, okay, duck walk. Good, good, good. So duck walk, keyword explore. We're going to go duck walk. Boom. Okay, good. So we got duck walk, duck walk exercise. We got all this stuff here. Duck walk exercise. Um, A lot of weird stuff. People look up weird duck stuff. Uh, but we're going to look up that and we're going to be like, okay, now I'm going to go through. I'm going to get the keywords for duck walk. Maybe I'll put some hip flexor stuff in there. Boom. I'm going to link them to it. It's going to be simple. Here's how to do the duck walk. Here's the great thing. Check out this to unlock your hip flexors or whatever it is. Notice, did anyone catch something there? Did anyone catch something really important? Okay, Estelle says everything has to lead to making money. Yes, but something more important. Because this is just one blog post I'm going to put on my blog. It's just one. Notice how I'm treating this completely separate than everything else. If I make a post about how to get uh, a six-pack abs, I treat that different with a different offer. It's its own entity. Very important because people think I have a weight loss site. I'm going to put weight loss ads. I hope I'm going to make money. And you're going to make pennies on the dollar. This is why it works. I look at people who are in the same niches as me and I'm like, dude, you got five times as much traffic and you're making a tenth of what I make because they're not treating it separate. Every video on YouTube, it's treated separate. Surprise, surprise. It's all treated separate. That's why I have different links and different things for people to do. And we have to look at that and understand exactly what is going on. And the data, like Mehdi says, the data is always going to tell us what to do. And if you focus and you understand this, it's game over, you win. Do I make an individual page for each keyword? I make a post for each keyword. A post for each keyword. Very, very important. Right? So I'm going to go through and I'm going to make that duck post and I'm going to go through and I'm going to make these separate. And this is how you shortcut your way because now look what I did. I went out there and I'm like, boom, okay, you're sitting here and you're like, I'm going to start a fitness blog. Yay. Great. And you're out there and you're like, okay, so everyone says between 12 and 48 months to make money. Okay. Before you see anything. All right, well, you know, I, I, I got mine from the 3rd to the 11th, uh, so that's eight days. So I, got, I started getting results in eight days. So I already hacked that. Then I get rid of all the waste on my site and competitor sites. Look at that list. This is, oh, there we go. I got to open that again. Let's see. Hopefully I have, yes, I do have it open. There we go. Come on. It will load. There it is. Okay, cool. So notice on the big list how much waste there was. And it'll take a minute. Uh, 
Okay, so leg work is at home. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So there's like more than 20% that's used, more than 80% waste. Hoisin sauce substitute? Am I do I need that? No. He did all the work and now he ranks for that. And what's the point? Am I gonna sell some hoisin sauce and make four cents? I mean, what are we talking about? Right? We gotta go through, we gotta look at this, we gotta understand exactly what's going on. Get rid of the waste. When you zero target, I want the people I want that are going to make me money. If I don't have a clear path to making money, guess what? I ain't gonna make content. And we got a hummingbird that brought us a seed. There he is, he went over there. Always love the nature, right? If a bird comes to see you, that's a good sign. So we got to look at this and we got to understand that we're going to get rid of the waste. Get rid of the waste. We don't want the waste. We want only the stuff that we're going to get. Then we're going to put up specific targeted content, specific stuff. So when I go for it, I'm going to be like, okay, let's say we're going to go for the duck walk, duck walk exercise. We Google it. What shows up? Well, we got the lady doing the duck walk on YouTube. We got some sites, okay? And we got images. Am I gonna do a video in images? If I wanna shortcut my way to 100 grand, hell yeah. 100% gonna do it. Have to do it. Why would I not? It's there, it works. I'm gonna utilize what works. I'm not gonna swim upstream. I'm gonna get in the flow of what's already happening. And if you guys start to do this, everything will start to change. Dan, uh, Danny says, wasn't the sauce keyword an accidental ranking? I have no idea. Uh, yeah, I don't know. If we do, uh, what was it? Hoisin sauce? Hoisin sauce substitute? Let me see what comes up for that. Hoisin sauce substitute. So for that, um, let's see if he's got a ranking for that. No, that was on purpose. What's the point? Like, okay. I mean, I could probably make four bucks on that. But why? Here's the, the key. You could spend the exact... So if I spend time, okay, to make a duck walk post. Let's say I make a duck walk post and a duck walk video. And I do um, some images, duck walk images. Okay? Let's say this takes me three hours, okay? Let's say I do the hoisin sauce one. Hoisin sauce, all right, you might be able to do an hour and a half. So you save a little bit of time, okay? Now, what is going to make me more money? The hoisin sauce or this? This duck walk, if I do it right, is going to make, in my estimate, 1,000 times what this post would do. Are you starting to get it? Right? That, that's the key. Like, I could literally go and find the stuff that I want that he ranks for, because his site's pretty competitive, uh, pretty similar to the domain that I got, and boom, bang, done. I'm done. Like, I go through, and I'm like, all I'm going to do is spend the time. Now, I can outsource this, because I don't know anything about exercise and duck walks. I could outsource this for maybe spend 100 bucks on content. The question again, if I spend a hundred bucks on content, will I make my hundred bucks back? Well, according to ClickBank, I get a hundred bucks for one sale of the hip flexors. One sale. Can I make one sale a year? I certainly hope so. I certainly hope so. Like if I don't, like I need to quit, right? So we got to understand what's going on. And again, it's got to be super targeted. And if we get rid of the waste and we're like, boom, I'm just going to get what I want. All right. You're going to take that stuff because all the other people, they're touting this 24 to 48 month thing and it, or 12 to, to 48 month plan. And it's okay. It works. Okay. I've seen people, I, I saw a guy, uh, blew me out of the water. This guy came from nowhere. I'd like to do an interview with him. Um, he started a blog, made like a hundred grand a month by the end of the year. And he's making even more than that now. Seems like a nice guy. He's got really good content. Um, and I was like, okay, that's cool. Now, we could look at that and we can reverse engineer what he did. Now, with these 24 to 48 month guys, they're kind of doing a throw everything at the wall and hopefully some stuff's going to stick. And what I'm doing is saying, hey, that one's stuck 
and it makes money. This one stuck and it makes money. This one stuck. I'm not going to waste my time on all the other stuff. I'm going to work smarter and go for the stuff that I can see works and that I can get. Everyone getting what I'm putting down? Smash that like button. Let's get that thing over 300. Let's get it rocking and rolling. Okay? And if you start to get this, this is where the key is. And we look at it with any site, right? We go through and we're like, okay, how about um, the trends website? So here's the trends website with a bunch of random stuff, right? So what am I going to do here? Well, this has to do with like an Xbox thing. I don't know a lot about Xbox, but maybe it'll, here's, here's one for Project Free TV. So they want to watch TV for free. Maybe I could do whatever uh, with that. Find my iPhone. Kernel security check failure. Boom. That's a good one. I would go for that because I could link that directly to um, some kind of registry editing software. Boom. Uh, what does SIM lock mean? I, I think that has to do with a SIM card. Uh, AA in flight. Okay, those people are looking for like in flight Wi Fi. I could probably sell them like a Wi Fi thing, although they're on the plane, they want the Wi Fi, they probably don't want to jack around with my website. Uh, they probably can't even get to the website. Okay, once they can get to it, they probably won't need it. Does so everyone get how that works? Uh, we got uh, all kinds of stuff here. Check power supply on. PC, like that could link to, hey, get a new computer, um, all kinds of stuff, right? So I'm going to go for what I can get. And what you're going to find is that on a list like this, we're going to find a couple of ones that are providing all his income. I guarantee if you look at a site like this, there's a couple of them that are making all his money, or at least 90% of it. And when we look at that and we focus, right, very very important to look at, okay? We have to look at that and say, okay, boom, we're gonna get exactly what we want. And then we're gonna watch what happens. So like with Nerd Getting Fit, right? We go here, we do Nerd Getting Fit, and I start to watch what happens. I watch my traffic like a hawk. I'm not here to mess around. I'm here to make it work. And Zindor says, you're right. I've seen bloggers on YouTube tell you that you need 500 pieces of content before you start making... Hogwash. Hogwash. I don't have a hog, but we got a gator. Gator wash, right? There we go. Got to have fun with this stuff. You don't... You look at this. Nerd getting fit. I got four or five posts. Literally got four or five posts. We're getting traffic. Why? Because I went for exactly what I wanted. Now, Nerd Getting Fit used to have some rankings I didn't want, right? So if we go back before I took it over, we look at um, quickly get abs, cardio help me lose weight. It's got mostly what I like, mostly stuff I want. Uh, does your body like that? Yeah, probably wouldn't. I can't make money with that. Hey, why would I do that? Um, game changers fact check. No, I don't want anything to do with that. Uh, will one slice of pizza ruin my diet? That's not worth it, uh, right? So I'm, I'm, I'm going for the stuff that I want and going for the things that I need. Now, will quantity help? Sure, but do quantity the right way, right? I'd rather make 500 pieces of content that are the right way based on things I can make money than 500 where 90% of them is gonna be junk, right? And we have to look at that and understand exactly what's going on. And is there anyone here that's bidding on the aquaponic site? I know one of you guys out there is doing that, which, you know, to each his own. But we have to look at that and understand I'm bidding on it right now, too. Um, and it's kind of fun, right? You look at this and you understand exactly what's going on and you make it work in a really, really cool way. And now we're focusing on exactly what we want, exactly what we want, right? And we go through and we're like, OK, now I can go through and watch the stats. So now I can look at it and say, well, where are we? This morning, I noticed um, how long does it take to get abs started dropping a little, right? We were number six last week. Now we're like number 11. Okay, so I need to see what, what can I do to get that higher because having number 11 versus number three is going to be a big, big difference, right? Does that make sense to everyone? It's going to be a huge difference. Okay, pretty cool. 
Okay, so um, we're going to take a look at that, and then I'm going to go through and be like, okay, well, what else am I getting, right? And if you do this strategically, that's what this is about. It's about the strategy. It's all about the strategy. And if you have the right strategy, you are going to win, hands down. All right, hold on a second. Are you guys liking this? I can't tell because the like button is not lit up. So... Light that like button up if you guys are, are digging this because, you know, you've probably been through some courses that you paid for that doesn't do that, um, that don't teach as much as what I'm doing here. FM says, do you wait for your site to generate uh, traffic before putting your offers? It's up to you. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Um, yeah, I mean, might as well get the traffic, right? Uh, how do we know out of these keywords if a particular one will work? You're going to look at the competition. And if you're buying an expired domain, um, so if I was going to do the aquaponics site, okay, um, I would take a look at what it ranks for, and I would I would try to go for ones that have good traffic and also had a good ranking. So like this, 150 and 91, and it was a direct hit, it's probably not that good. That's probably why I'm not going to bid on it anymore. Um, because, you know, for the amount that it has... It's not that great. Now, we could look at the backlinks and say maybe, but with backlinks, that should have ranked. Like that DIY aquaponics fish tank, this should have ranked. There's no reason it shouldn't have ranked. Um, so that's probably why I would look at this and be like, okay, uh, what are we going to do? So we have to take a look and say, okay, well, I could do bluegill or whatever. And now, if you're doing a new site, ladies and gentlemen, some of you guys might not have money to go buy in domains like me which is fine. Don't worry about it. What you could do is you could start a new site and go for low competition, saltwater aquaponics plants. I'm going to go for all these that are under five, and there's a lot. Look at all these. All these are like 11 is the highest one, right? So we're like, there we go. That's, that's pretty cool. Um, and then we can go through and, and make it work in a really easy way. Okay. Uh, when you export the C, oh yeah, we open in Excel. Um, yeah. Okay. Any questions on what we're going over? Because like, if you're doing this with a new site, it's not that hard. Or you can even use uh, Spamzilla. Uh, Spamzilla, I talk about all the time where uh, sometimes you can get domains with backlinks. Um, so if I'm going to do that, I could go here to Spamzilla and I could be like, okay, uh, aquaponics and see if there's anything for aquaponics. Sometimes there is, sometimes there's not. So like this, um, that aquaponics site's going for about 600 bucks right now. I might be able to find something DIY aquaponics guide. So this one, like I could literally go over to, uh, GoDaddy domains, or I like to buy mine at Namecheap. Uh, I could go over to Namecheap and go DIY aquaponics guide. Boom. I can get this for nine bucks. Let's see if it's any good, right? So DIY aquaponics guide make sure there's no weird stuff okay so it's got some backlinks um decent no recent keywords these won't have recent keywords because when they're expired they kind of drop a little bit uh so yeah like look at this so diy aquaponics build aquaponics systems so those of you who are like i don't have 600 bucks to buy the aquaponics site well good you could buy this one for nine dollars i mean come on how many of you guys are like dude this is this is mind-blowing how many of you guys are getting this? And it's all based on data and understanding exactly what is going on. You have to look at the stuff. Um, how much am I billed each month for my Ahrefs? I don't know. Um, I, I think it's like 500 bucks or something. I'm not sure. Yeah. Uh, okay. Off topic, boot camp. Is, yes, boot camp is moved because my throat is toast. That's why we moved this call today. Um, but, uh, it is going to be moved till tomorrow. All right. So, um, yeah, that's a good domain. Someone go buy that. There you go. Happy birthday. There's a good domain for you. And you could do this. You could do it <coughs> and you could get it rocking and rolling. And guess what? This one's selling for 600 bucks. So you know that sites in this niche go for a lot of money and you just bought it for eight bucks. Are you guys starting to get how this works? Are you starting to cut past the fluff of get this automated system that's going to make you money overnight by sitting around and doing nothing? You guys, nobody makes money doing nothing. Unless you're like the heir of a family that has money, 
you ain't gonna make money doing nothing. There you go. Um, is Spamzilla all expired domains? No. Uh, sometimes they'll have GoDaddy in there too. So like if you just do the regular search, you'll see uh, GoDaddy. But I have my filters set to where I use this specifically um, for, you know, um, expired ones. It's not that hard. Um, that's, actually, that's actually a pretty good domain. I would buy that uh, if... I wasn't offering it to you guys to go get it. And I'm sure someone probably got it by now anyway. Um, there's another, there was another one, five coast view aquaponics. That might even be better. Let's take a look. Coast view aquaponics. Uh, do I have a YouTube on how to do drop shipping? Newsflash, Andres. I just showed you how to do drop shipping. It's the same process. Like you're just going to get traffic and instead of an affiliate link, you're going to have a drop shipping click here to buy the thing. People overcomplicate this stuff way more than it needs to be. It's all the same. It's getting traffic and making an offer. It's all like, well, Marcus, what about YouTube? I'm getting traffic here. Like, you guys are watching the video. That's my traffic. I'm going to make an offer. And, uh, you know, that, that's how it works. Smash the like button. All right, so there we go. We got this here. Um, part five, we watch the stats and grow. And then part six, we sell some stuff, monetize, and grow. Very, very simple right? We make it work. We have to go through and we have to look at this objectively. We got to get out of the, there's good shortcuts and bad shortcuts. Most people up until now have been looking at shortcuts that are bad. They're actually going to take longer than actually doing it the right way. Um, the stuff that I taught you is a shortcut that actually works. You're taking over something that actually worked. You're building something that actually does stuff. And you're looking at the things that are very specific. Uh, Jim says, would the .NET or .org version be any good? Good question. So would the .NET or .org be any good? I want you guys to answer yes, good, no, bad. Put it in there because this will be an eye-opening moment to everyone. Okay. So Jim says, would .NET, so would it be the same if I got .NET or .org because those are available and the guy already took .com? Would it be the same? Okay, are backlinks ever not a good thing when shopping for domains? If they're crappy backlinks, yeah. I try to look at if the backlinks are, are decent. So this, I want to see backlinks that have to do with like fish and aquaponics and, you know, stuff like that. And it looks like, yes, this does. This has stuff that is very specific. Okay, there are some junk ones, but overall, I think it's it's better than than, than the other one. Okay, um, let's see here. We have, um, how about selling a loss leader? Of course. Yeah, I do that. I've done that to, um, to uh, build a list or build goodwill in my marketplace. Okay, uh, how we know out of these keywords, particular one will work. You're going to look at your competition. Um, okay, a lot of people are saying bad. Congratulations, my friend. If you said bad, we don't want the org or net, you are correct. And the reason is because I don't give a rip about the domain. I care about the links. Okay, so .net and .org, it wouldn't necessarily be bad. It'd be pointless. Okay, be completely pointless. Can I rank on Medium without a website? Okay, so here's how you ask that question, okay? What we do is we go over to, um, to uh, our keyword tool, and we type medium.com, and we see if medium.com ranks. Does it rank? Yes. Can you rank? Yes. If you put a post up on medium.com, it can rank. Anything can rank. A video, anything can, right? Can we do this method with Medium instead? Why? Like, do you want to make money or do you want to fool around looking for, you know, silly stuff, right? Can you? Well, if Medium is something I require, but it's not going to be until I actually get the stuff. So if I go Medium and I do Medium and I see what they rank for, let's see, make sure there's no junk in here. Uh, let's do reviews, maybe. Uh, 
Yeah, so like there's lots of stuff that 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 Medium ranks for. So if I do like V Shred reviews, uh, V Shred I think is a workout thing. Okay, we can see here V Shred reviews. Um, well, it said Medium ranked. It must be an old ranking. Let's see where was it? Medium.com. Well, let's try clean my Mac reviews. It says it ranks for that too. Number three. Yeah, there we are. So see how it ranks there. Okay, so yes, you can, but they're finicky about how you can make money with it. Now, what I would do is I would use Medium as a booster. I would make articles there and then point them to my site. Okay? All right. Uh, we are professionals. We shouldn't need a moderator. Yeah. Like, I don't want someone telling me what I can and can't put on my page. I don't want people to say, oh, well, you know, you can't do this and you can't do that. I want to make my own page. I want to control it. Like, it, it, it really is a matter of what are you willing to do to get what you want to, where you want to go. Like, the same people who say, oh, I want to do Medium for free... I guarantee you got a $1,000 cell phone in your pocket. So you're walking around with a $1,000 cell phone, but you won't take a risk on your own stuff. When I first started, I had the cheap cell phone because that's all they had back then. It was a big old huge phone I had to keep in my pocket and had an antenna back in the 90s. And uh, I was like, hey, I'm going to do what I got to do. I worked a job so I could afford to learn this stuff. Right? I probably could have not had a job and just you know messed around with things, but I had a job in the beginning, so I'm like, hey, I'm going to do this so I can afford it. And then I built websites for people, and I did what I had to do, and I got web hosting. Um, and, and I got I remember back then the keyword tool was $300, which might as well have been a million because I didn't have it. But I was like, I'm going to do what I have to do to make it work. And guess what? Newsflash. It paid off. If you make it pay, well, Marcus, what if it doesn't work? Well, I know that people search for it. I know that I could rank for it. So I'm going to do everything I can to make it work. If something doesn't work, I'm going to learn from it. And I'm going to go through and do it. And what I like about this is when you use these shortcuts, you're not just saving 12 to 48 months. Because here's the deal. The 12 to 48 months, halfway in, you're going to start getting your data. This is what other people teach. This is when you're going to get your data. This is where the magic happens. When you get your data, you look at your data, you tweak, and you grow. I've already skipped. I'm already at the data point. Newsflash. On my Nerd Getting Fit site, I'm already at the data. I'm already getting traffic. I'm already learning. And we look at it, and we make it work. Guys, think about this. Think about this. How many of you guys are getting it? Smash that like button. We got to get over 300 before we call it a day. But this is where the rubber meets the road. And if you guys get it, that's what happens. Someone said, I, I sold my PlayStation 5 to get a copy of Uber Suggest. You know, the, the first and last computer game I played was the first version of Doom. Like on, on literally Windows 95, I tried to play it. I got bored with it. And I was like, I want to make money with this computer. My grandma gave us a computer. I broke it. And then she gave us another one. <laughs> and uh, that one I learned. And I learned everything on an old 486. Because I said, I'm going to do this. I'm going to learn it. I'm going to make it work. I'm going to make it work. I'm going to focus on the data. And I'm going to invest in things that help me directly. Okay, we need to get away from give me a hundred bucks and I'll show you how I make nine million dollars on Amazon or give me a hundred bucks for the software that's going to shortcut it. Guys, it's 2022 almost. We know that most of that stuff does not work the way it's supposed to. But if you can invest in someone who's going to shortcut it, maybe you'll go to uh, domains.blogprofitnetwork.com and you'll get a domain that I have. And with the domain, uh, with the ones that are the premium, you get 12 pieces of content. I do the research. I do the content. I get all the junk out. I get you the ones I think will work. We give you the domain. We build it up. We get you ready to rock. Right? Done deal. Um, that's a good shortcut. Or if you're on a budget, go to blogprofitnetwork.com. Why? Marcus, you know, some people said that your videos are kind of misorganized. and That's not why you buy Blog Profit Network. You buy Blog Profit Network so that you can come on every Tuesday and say, Marcus, I put this post up. It didn't rank. What do I do? Hey, I did this thing. What do I do? Hey, I'm making a little bit of money. How do I make more? That's what you pay for. And if you don't think it's worth 37 bucks a month to be able to ask any question you want about your site, 
again, you probably should not be an internet marketer. If you're not seeing the value of this stuff, then honestly, pack up and do something else. Pack up and do it. Because you've got to be willing to put your time and your money and or your money, sometimes both, sometimes one, depends on what you got, to make it work. You've got to be willing to do it. And if you're not willing to do it, that shows that you're kind of wishy-washy. I wasn't. People came to me. They said, Marcus, what's your backup plan? I said, dude, I have no backup plan. Well, what if it doesn't work? It's going to work. Yeah, but what if it, it, it's going to? I tell my kids the same thing. They say, hey, I want to do this, this career. I said, make it work. Yeah, but there's so many other people. Make it work. You can go and you can make things work the way that you want if you're willing to do it. You just have to be willing to do it. When Jeff Bezos started Amazon, he left a comfortable uh, stock market job. Now, some of his business practices are questionable in my opinion, but he did it and it paid off. It's like one of the richest guys in the world. He has more. He, like, if you think about this, you have to think about this. That guy makes more money in about a minute than you've made your entire life. All right. Now, that's a testament to, I believe, a, a political failing, too. But at any rate, when you think about that, I want you to look at the magnitude. Because all you're looking for is something not that big. Now, is it difficult? It can be. But is it out there? Yeah, it's out there. And that's all I need. All I need to know is, does, is it out there? Is it there? Can I see it? How does it work? If you can't answer those questions, don't invest in anything. Don't do it. He knew. I'm going to set up a site. I'm going to sell books. I'm going to get traffic from Google because people look up books a lot. Oh, wait a minute. That sounds a lot like what Marcus has been doing for 21. Exactly. Exactly. It's the same thing process. I watched a documentary on Netflix, the way that they crushed Blockbuster. It's a great documentary if you didn't watch it. Uh, is by the same stuff. Like the, the CEO was like, yeah, we did forum marketing and we posted on these sites. And I'm like, that's what we do with booster sites. It's the same thing. And he said, we're going to make it work. We're going to make it work. It's not guess marketing. It's not hope marketing. It's not I wish. It's no, I'm going to make this work come hell or high water. So I'm going to do. Because that's what I want. I want to make it work. So I'm going to make it work. How many of you guys are going to go make it work? How many of you guys are going to go to downloadmynotes.com? Get yourself some notes. How many of you guys are going to go to blogprofitnetwork.com? Sign up. How many of you guys are going to binge watch my stuff? Because you know, I tell it like it is, and I show you the truth about what it takes to make money. If you want to get a domain, go to domains.blogprofitnetwork.com. Um, you can see we have tons of domains there. Some of them are cheaper. The ones that are, are more expensive actually come with the site setup. So like this one here, this, this how to approach her was a good one. Uh, List Giant was a good one. Um, build a gaming PC. I love this one because this one, watch this. It's already started for you. You just go there and you're like, hey, check it out. It's already got the rankings. I can rank for all this stuff. Like I literally just spent like I don't know, four grand or something to have a custom computer built. It should be here this week, I hope. Um, and someone could have gotten commission. Look at this. Cheap streaming computer. He was number eight. Gaming PC for 300. Do people buy PCs? Would they click your link? Yeah, because you'd be in front of them. Here it is. You just follow the roadmap. And guess what? With these domains, I do the work. We give you 12 pieces of content. I'm going to go through and I'll be like, hey, so here's the domain. I did the research. I sat around and I bid on it and I bought the domain and now I'm going to do the research and I'm going to find the keywords. So I would go through and I'd be like, wherever it is, I'd be like best gaming PCs under 300 bucks, gaming PC, uh, PC under 300. I'm going to build 12 pieces of content on the specific ones that I think we can rank for. I'm going to put them up. You're going to make it work. If you stick with it, It'll shortcut your, your time to get set up and bada bing, bada boom. There you go. Guys, there it is. What brand is my new computer? I started buying from uh, Computer Upgrade King because he's the only guy I found that I could get 128 gigs of RAM. The other one's like, it's a pain in the butt. But this guy, like, it's cool. We're going to do an unboxing. Um, they engraved affiliate marketing dude on the side of it. So it should be pretty cool. I'm excited. Um, this one I've had for about five years. It was a custom build um, a couple years ago.
but uh, the RAM's starting to get, the space is getting lower, and yeah. So, uh, but no, the new one should be, should be pretty good. For video editing, it should be top level. Because, I mean, this thing, we got 8 gigs in this, or 8 terabytes in this, and it's already, I have to get new hard drives every couple of months. Okay. Cool. Hope you guys like this. Smash the like button. Subscribe. Let's see, get us over 300. Come on. There you go. Um, but this one, like, you take a look at the others. Uh, domains.blogprofitnetwork.com. Um, Air Bounce Party. This one I got because I thought would be really good for... Um, for like a franchise of bounce houses, how to budget for article writing. Well, you could write them yourself, or if you want to budget for article writing, um, I usually spend about 25 to, to $50 per piece of content. Just ask yourself, like when you budget for it, can I make more than 30 bucks on this? If I can, boom, done deal. Uh, this one has good backlinks for the bounce house stuff. We got uh, Writer Web. This is really good for like freelance writer stuff. This has a clear path to making money. It's actually a good sellable domain too. Like that one, you could you could probably sell it pretty good. Um, plagiarism Remover, Online. This is a really good one if you like this kind of niche. Um, we got some others too. Uh, neat Stuff Gifts, Made Fresh, Jolly Covers, all kinds of good stuff. And we, we build them out for you. Um, and, and what's cool about this is it's not a course. We teach you stuff. We give you a course. We help you out. Um, you get lifetime support. As long as I do the Tuesday morning calls, if you get one of these, you're on them. And I've been doing calls every week for 12 years now. So I don't think we're going anywhere. But pretty good stuff. So domains.blogprofitnetwork.com. Uh, binge watch the stuff. I'll get the notes out for you as long as you put your name and email on downloadmynotes.com. Uh, we'll get you that stuff. And guys, this is where the rubber meets the road. If you like this, smash the like button. Let me know in the comments below. Enjoy it. Use the shortcuts because there's tons of them. Have fun, and I'll see you next time.